really well. We hit, uh, it was like $40 in the first like 30 minutes, which was very surprising. We hit 70, uh, just, about, I think it was 70 within the first hour. And then it kind of just sat there here and there. Um, it was, I was getting, I got raided a few times. So shout out to chaotic for those two raids that he brought other people in, um, to help me out to start raid some more. And then actually when I was done streaming, somebody anonymously donated $129. Therefore we hit 200 out of 100, my $100 goal. We are at 71 when I stopped streaming and then I got a notification, congrats, like you hit your goal. And it was like 200 out of 100. Somebody completely anonymous donated that amount. And I think that's that's amazing, dude. That's the, the most I've raised. The one I did before, I think it was 175. And then this one uh, with the goal of 200, or with the goal of 100, we hit 200 so that was really cool and that was very very nice and i'm very appreciative of the person that did that being able to actually help raise that is really cool makes me want to do more honestly do more charity streams like more often because it was it was really cool and you know what getting up and starting the stream by 8 a.m was really not that bad I think if I ever went full time, I probably would do that. Start streams by 8 a.m. and go until like four, five, six. Like, I mean, that's a long, long, long ways away, but I think I would because it, it really wasn't that bad and I, I liked it. I was, I stopped streaming by like four o'clock. I still had plenty of the day left to go. So I actually went to the mall and caught some Pokemon. And then the next day, uh, we, uh, we went to uh, Community Day for Pokemon Go. So that was pretty cool. I was taking nap at four. Yeah. Well, I'm used to waking. Well, dude, my body, I literally wake up by six o'clock every Nuggets morning now. My body is just used to it. It's kind of funny. Even on my day is off, I'll wake up at six. I'll be like, ah, oh, I don't need to get up now. I'll go to sleep until like seven, seven thirty, eight on my day off, and then I'll just get up. It's I, I actually kind of love that. Uh, what happened to the queen? Allow me to introduce Siora, the daughter of I wish queen I could Blade, do that, but then I wouldn't be able to sleep. Be an owl night or night owl. Her here, yeah, and I would that's like the trade-off. But it's okay. That'll prove difficult. She's dead. No. I'm dead tired by you, like 9:30 a lot of time. Let her die. Like you when I when, when I'm getting off here at nine, I'm pretty tired. We didn't need to. When we collected her up from the battlefield, she was severely wounded. She died on the way to the camp. I want to see her body, on Almanel. Oh, man. Please, I must see her. Can we see her, Captain? If you're the one who's asking, Your Excellency, it should be possible. You're in luck. We were thinking about getting rid of it, but we received the put order to keep a body. A shock mount it's still on my in the infirmary. thing. Because I hate that. Show it to you. Thank you, Captain. Siora, I'm terribly sorry. Let's go see her. Yes, yeah, supposedly every character uh, you meet I'm sorry if can lost. have a romance o the option. Must be the I don't know how many uh, companions there are, though. Let's go. But I feel like I have a majority the of them. I am the legate of the congregation, and this is Siora, the daughter of the queen whose remains you're keeping. I would like to see her. I There's also some very dark her. and kind of scary Please. stuff going on My here, too. Is, madam. The body I'll, of your I'll tell you right after uh, on the left. we're done here. Like once we're traveling or something. Not... A dark dragon what? age. Kind of. I should give you some privacy while you're mourning. Instead of dragons, we it's demons. Fine. Like actually, though. I wish they they told us what they're saying. I must take her with me on Almanawi. We must perform the rituals. The captain said that he was instructed to keep her body. 
It will not be easy to convince him to disobey. I do not care about it will the captain's be orders. When we have plus three. She is my mother. Plus three charisma. She must be given back to the earth. So, let's go back to see him and try to make him change his mind. I'm actually kind of wearing a, try, a bad guy's helmet respect, too, or hat. He will not want to that logo. To himself by disobeying this order. What do you mean? I believe he is a traitor, and that he made a deal with Telemi. Those are some serious accusations, even for a member of the guard. Why would you believe such a thing? I overheard a conversation that got me thinking, and I also saw certain documents. We could use them to pressure him. Did you take them? No, that would be too risky. I do not want to get into trouble. But I suppose they would still be amongst his other belongings. Will they let us rummage through this place without protesting? Most of the guards returned to Hikmet after the battle was over. If you are discreet, you should be able to enter the officer's building. Thank you for oh. your help, Doctor. Shouldn't you oh, ask he's a nice doctor. First? Maybe he'll change his mind. You're I right. Mean... Let's try talking to him before rummaging through the camp. Yeah. I think I can convince him. Um. Still kind of going back and forth, so I'm going to wait. Your Excellency, what do you want? Let me take the stuff. We would like to retrieve the remains of the Queen. Bring her back to her people and her family. That will not be possible, Your Excellency. As I told you, the Governor specifically asked us to keep her. He wants her delivered to one of his scholars who wanted to study her. 50%. Ah! You have lost a lot of men in this battle. How would you feel it's if someone gonna... prevented you from giving them a proper burial? I'll be surprised if, you if it knew goes that their corpses oh. were going to be given to some it looks scholars remorseful. to be dissected. Wouldn't you want to have them back? The way I feel when ah. it comes to my men does not concern you. I cannot give her back to you. End of discussion. Alright, we'll just do it on herself. Insist. Captain, I insist. Let us take this body with us. I have orders, Your Excellency. I've already told you. It is my mother we are talking about. My mother, whom you let die by dragging her all the way here. Give her back to me, or I swear that I will never leave you in peace. This isn't the right way to approach this, Siora. Come. This man is as cold as stone. Oof. I'm afraid we have no choice but to pressure him now, like the doctor told us. We will have to be discreet uh, okay. if we want to find these documents without getting caught. The doctor was right. They are trafficking weapons illegally with San Mateus. Wow. If word reaches Hikmet, these men will face a firing squad. But none of these documents are signed. The captain managed to cover his tracks. This large box must contain the documents you are searching for. I hope the officer doesn't keep the key. I don't see how we could steal it from him. He may have left it somewhere. Come, let's continue searching. Ugh, I wish I had. I'm pretty sure they can Vasco can do um he has locksmith or something or lock picking. I don't get why uh maybe he doesn't. Oh wait, they're moving. Quick quick get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Totally didn't see us. Uh Where could it possibly be? Pat, are you still here? Yeah. So, basically so a big presence for the game is what she is. She's from like a clan, right? And he and her both have the mark on her face, which is like, I guess it gives them powers and stuff. And like her clan is very like into that. And like they perform all these rituals and yada, yada, yada. So there's also a city called Teleme or Teleme. They're part of the hat that I'm wearing. Um, Illuminous Ordo. They're kind of like the anti 
tribes people like they think that they're trying to summon in demons and they're like you got you follow the path of enlightenment like to be cleansed like our way is the only way type thing but the problem is that the tribes a lot of them are just like they're just tribes they're just performing rituals nothing like really bad but there was one pro tribe that was literally like sacrificing people uh that we stumbled upon so that's why like there's a huge battle between them and and uh the ordo and uh it's kind of interesting seeing like the the priests and all that they're like oh follow the path to enlightenment be cleansed but then they're also like killing all these tribes people it's interesting All right, we found that. Here's a document that could be useful. They're meeting with the buyers. Then we should go there. Yeah, pay your heaven tax, pretty much. <laughs> There's a risk that he will react violently, but we have no other choice. And go to the meeting location. I know this place. It is further down the road, near a large tree. Yeah, the the first guy that we like ran into, he is kind of he is nasty, like actually like mean. I kind of I take the side of the uh, the tribes people more than uh. Boom. He's like highwayman. Nice. Starting to level up decently. Faster. I wish there was a uh, something that would give you faster XP. All right. Finally, we can pick, or I could pick up firearms. Do I get the magic healing or the fire? I'm gonna take the firearms. Huh. It's a little bit better, and now I can actually use guns. Um, then strength, melee abilities, maximum life, heaviest armor, full power. Mm. I'm going to take will power, maximum MP and spell durations. Now I can go here and equip this of regulation pistol and how do I use it though uh how do I use the pistol yeah I'm definitely gonna give this uh game a shot when I feel like playing an RPG yeah I feel like this game was like a perfect it came out at a perfect time for me so it just worked out um, another game that I didn't, wasn't even really on my radar and it just released today was, uh, Devil's Hunt. I think that looks really cool and I, I'm so down to play that. But right now I'm going to, I'm going to wait on that one just because I'm playing this. Um, never heard of it. It's basically, I think it looks a lot like prototype it's a it's a mix of prototype and devil may cry it's devil may cry setting but prototype slash devil may cry combat that's at least what it looks like when i checked the page earlier today um it didn't look anything it there weren't really any reviews so there wasn't really like any research i could do but it looks pretty cool, I think. Can I actually... Does it tell me how to use guns in here? Techniques, bind. Wait, how do you... So how do we actually use them? Is, is F bound on to anything? Let's find out. Bind. Oh. Oh, okay. You can just bind it to like an ability. 
So if I press two, ah, that's pretty dope. I like that. Nice, nice. Now we can do the uh, the whole Edward Kenway pistol are. shot. This is the tree that was mentioned. Let's hide while we wait for, wait for the arrive. captain's arrival. Let's see for stealth. Interrupt the exchange. Hello there. Well, Captain, you have some peculiar friends for a man who obeys the Alliance. You? What are you doing here? We stumbled upon some strange documents and wanted to see for ourselves if there was any truth to them. Sorry, my friends. If you want our shipment, then we need to get rid of this nosy legate. Captain, you are making really? a grave mistake. That's rough. Done messed up now. Let's see if you can ward off this fight. Ah. Enough. I surrender. I would never they stand so close to each other to attack allies at the end of combat. <laughs> it seems to me that you were the one who attacked. How did you put it? This nosy legate. Had you simply listened to us, Captain, this fight would not have taken place. All we wanted was for you to respectfully deliver the body of the Queen to her village. And will you stay silent about what you saw? We're neutral. Trading amongst yourselves does not concern us. In that case, very well. I'll return to the outpost and ensure it's done. Now I would like for us to return to my village. I am eager to reunite with my sister. In that case, let's return to Vedrais. Vedrais. Go directly back. I love that. I wish, dude, they do this so many times. I wish more games would learn from that. Like when you finish a quest, it's like, would you like to head back? And then it automatically just takes you there. But uh, yeah, not a lot of games do that. So I hope games learn from that. Though a lot of games probably, they probably don't even have this game on their, on their radar. So that's unfortunate. Drop this. Hat. Drop that. Drop that. Kill him. Oh, did you? No, I didn't. Ah, I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. Did you use Wii mod only for money? Okay. <laughs> I could, I could use it for. Dude, I could easily press a button and upgrade my character. And you know, I'm this close. I'm this close to doing it to feel the ultimate power. But I didn't. Good on me. We will be able to pay no honor. To our mother. <laughs> Why are there I don't care about honor. I meant to tell you My character is honorable. They came saying that our mother had made an agreement with Teleme. But oh, well. Mater did not tell me about it. She didn't say anything That's how either. she has a nice uh, jacket. Like this, and I have a nice jacket this too. And he has an, and Vasco has a nice jacket. But we need help after the defeat. And they say that she made a promise set in stone. Probably. The spirits of the people probably of mean our village would have I to bought it the with the money that I used from Wimod. Actually. This is impossible. Mater would never have done such a thing. <laughs> they are lying, I'm certain of it. Hey, I couldn't. I couldn't. But if there really is a promise this set close. in stone, we cannot break it. And we will have to bury our mother according to their rituals. We must verify it. I will not stand there while these mind shakers take our village. I could have. I was this close to... Dude, I could have... I saw it. I, I pressed it. You know what? I, I saved my game. I literally looked at it. I was like, you know what? I could just easily do this. I was right here. And I pressed it just to see. It was like unlimited talent or unlimited skills, unlimited tributes and talents. And I was like, okay, let me just see. I pressed the button. I looked up right here. It said 
250 and then the entire tree could have been mine everything but i was like i don't know if i want to do that just yet i'm actually kind of leveling at a good pace but i do want the money so that way if i need to buy something or do something i can do it but i didn't so i was like i'm gonna hold off for now but i'll take the money and then i did it right here i didn't remember the month the number but i could have got every single thing had all the attributes and same thing with the talents uh charisma you got it oh you want level three vigor you got it craftsmanship easy intuition no worries lock picking sure in science oh you're good to go but i didn't i didn't do it i could have but i didn't and right now i'm holding off i might though maybe but i probably i don't know i don't i feel a little bit a little bit in inside me tells me don't do it because i feel like in this game i'm gonna have something taken away from me if i do it something that i kind of want to experience so i haven't yet and as of right now as of this second i don't plan on it but who knows <laughs> anyways now we can go travel back here uh once breakpoint is like a couple days away and you're still playing this game you're gonna be so pressured to go all in with the mods and you didn't earn it i can't say much about money i would cheat for money yeah see see i all i did was take some money that's all oh so now he has a mission for me i intend to prove to the admiral that i fully identify as a knot once more without regrets i will have to go through a test of loyalty it will certainly be dangerous but with your help, I am convinced that I will succeed. So, shall we go and see her? Of course. With pleasure. Let's see what adventure she hasn't. Alright, <laughs> now we're doing his mission. But this should take him up to friendship. Hey, here's what I say about mods and cheating. Especially in a single player game. It's a game where you can unlock the full experience from the get-go now some may say oh yeah well leveling up is part of the experience unlocking those skills is part of the experience but with the millions and millions and hundreds of games out there do you really want to spend 150 hours in one game leveling up when you can just press a button get all of those abilities and experience the entire game like that that's how i see it why spend hours and hours in a game when you can just do it what can i do for you but this one i'm holding off because i want to Pasco. i want to hit a threshold you again. and did then you profit from your time on land i'll go from I did, there Admiral. that's why i've come to see you you want me to millions and millions and hundreds mission. yes Indeed. exactly very well. A short time ago, we lost one of our ships near the island. That's how I see it, though. The reputation of the Norts suffered from it. I have heard about it. An incomprehensible... A lot of times, it's just that boost. Numerous rumors. It's that boost that we makes it different. We cannot let the think we are A little bit better. Sea, so I need someone to investigate and restore our reputation. At your orders, Admiral. And with pleasure. The shipwreck is stranded on the shore, southwest of the island. Not far from when Xavier. Thank you, Admiral. I'm counting on you, Captain Vasco. <sighs> All right, so we need to go to this wreckage. Uh, we can actually fast travel from. Oh, nice. Oh, that is glorious. Being able to fast travel from right here. And then once we're done, we can just fast travel right back to her. That's so nice. But yeah, I think I think modding in games is the best part of PC PC gaming unlock the full experience not actually just mods like 
like mods adding stuff into games but straight up unlocking everything and feeling what it feels like the same as somebody on console that put 500 hours into a game just to unlock everything you can unlock it on pc within a few seconds one of the best parts about pc gaming Like, I could be rocking a rifle right now, but I'm over here with my pistol with only, only 30 rounds in it. Half this stuff I don't even need, but I'm taking it anyways. Uh, not if Google Stadia becomes the norm. Yeah. Nah, they'll still be. They'll still be mods. I mean, not on, probably not on Google Stadia, but I don't think that's going to become the norm anytime soon. Not for quite a while. And you'll still you'll still be able to play PC. I'm sure by that point they'll just have a mod uh, system that locks onto your game, the uh, cloud state, and then just implements it into that. Singing Waters. I'm guessing Google Stadia will be a flop. I don't know, man. Uh. I, I sometimes I say yeah, but other times I don't know. It, it really depends. I think it's possible to do very well, but I think it's also very easy for it to completely flop. I'm I'm curious how they're going to uh, do it with people that have don't have good internet connection. That's what I'm most interested in. Uh, the whole Google Stadia thing. I mean, I, I did pre-order the Founders Edition. So, I have that coming uh, in November, which is when it drops. So, I mean, <laughs> and I literally said this. Uh, somebody the other week asked me, like, why would you pre-order it? I was like, I mean, worst case scenario, if it doesn't work out, I have three months of it to try it. I have some limited edition controller that works for Stadia and worst case if everything like it completely flops it's a complete waste I got a Chromecast that just costs a little bit more so that's all it is it's, a, it's literally a Chrome it's a Chromecast Ultra so it, it goes up to 4k it's like uh, Roku and uh, Amazon uh, Fire Stick, they have their own versions of, they have 4K version. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh boy. Get out of here. Uh, heal. The one thing I don't like about this game I, I don't like how long it takes to fill up your skill bar. Like, I have 12 things that uh, I'm supposedly able to use, but I can I only have two. And then the rest are potions. It takes a while. Uh oh, he's almost dead. Time for cheats. Nah. <laughs> that's See, that's the one thing I don't use. Is I don't use unlimited health and unlimited uh, stamina. I'll do everything else, but I never use unlimited health or stamina. All right, Pat. How about this? What if I, what if I took one, I took all the skills, all the abilities, but I played my game on hard? Does that compensate it for it? 